o'clock, we're going to walk out of here with more money than when we came in. This really isn't a book about horse racing, but I thought it would be kind of useful and fun to come to the track because um, there are definitely a number of scenes that take place at the track. For my character, really, I think that's the kind of emotional center of his life and sort of therefore of the novel. It's 1974, it's the height of the Arab oil embargo and my protagonist Martin Anderson has a used aircraft business that is in deep trouble. I spent a lot of time as a kid at the racetrack and in the paddocks with my father and the racehorses that he owned. He owned one racehorse after another. Some of this goes back maybe to when I was a kid, you know, being uh, seven or eight or nine years old. Um, I remember what the fir one of the first times I went there, I was about the same size as the jockeys, and I, uh, I actually, <laughs> I thought I was going to have to be the jockey for the race. <laughs> and the pretty pony won the race. The end. Okay, now listen, girls, I'm going to the racetrack to place some bets and make some money. And if you have a little money to give me, I'll place a bet for you because you actually can't go to the racetrack with me. What do you say? All right, there it is. Excellent. Martin Anderson, my protagonist, is attracted to the racetrack because it's the place where he has what I think, you know, I could call maybe his most authentic form of experience. And that's, that's what he's looking for in his life. The racetrack is in some ways a kind of American version of, of what Hemingway's characters look for uh, at the bullfights in Spain. When he gets involved uh, smuggling drugs, uh, he's doing it along with, uh, he's accepting an offer from his horse trainer to uh, start flying heroin up from Mexico. It's going to be exactly like you're at the racetrack when I bet your money for you. High five. Good job. I understand, I get it when people are hooked on the horses. We're betting on a 1-7 uh, exacta box Molly ship. Can you show me? In a cape. It can get a little discouraging if you bet five races in a row and lose every time. Not, not that that usually happens with me. This is what you do at the end of the day when you're feeling discouraged. Martin has decided to break some rules and in breaking some rules he may find that uh, he's an exception. No, now hold on, no. 